Hey guys, it's Tom here with MYT Solar. Just finished up an awesome build on this Glacier Peak Outdoors RV. It is a F27 KVS. Really stoked about this install. We're actually here at Thompson RV doing a couple of installs that these guys are actually gonna sell in their lot. So brand new trailers with our awesome upgrade on top of that awesome trailer. I'll show you around what we did with this fifth wheel. So everything up here in the front bay of this fifth wheel, we managed to fit uh, two of the Battleborn game changers, which are awesome, awesome, robust battery. Um, 270 amp hours each. Love these things. Love the way they just screw down. They kind of block together. Um, they can be a challenge to get in, um, but once they're in, they're a really nice battery and the way they cover the terminals means that technically if someone wanted to sit a tub up on top of these batteries and keep using this space, that's what's really nice about these game changers. So we've got the two game changers here, all the other Victron components. Um, we have the Serbo GX, the MPPT 250-100 charge controller, our fusing, our disconnect, our smart shunt to get that battery, all nice and put right here in the left-hand side of this bay. And then we built this wall here so that this side of the bay is fully usable. Outdoors RV has this box on top of their gate valves for the sewer and the gray tank. So you can have a tub on top of here. This is a nice solid wall to stop stuff from pushing too much over into where the install is. So with those two game changers up the front there with the 540 amp hours of lithium battery, there's no need for the lead acid batteries that were once in this RV. So this was the spot here. This is the compartment on these Outdoors RV fifth wheels for the batteries. There was a shelf there and you could fit up to four 100 amp hour batteries. Now that we have those lithium batteries in the front bay. This is where we put the Multi Plus 2, the 3000 watt inverter. This inverter is going to be capable of running the air conditioner. Matter of fact, right now we have this rig unplugged and we're actually running their electric fireplace in there from their batteries right now. So really cool device. So potentially this customer won't even need to bring a generator. There's 1200 watts of solar on the roof and with this 3000 watt inverter, that means that they're gonna be able to go off grid. No need to run the generator to do the coffee pot, hair dryer, air conditioner. Like I said, electric fireplace right now. This whole thing is an off grid machine right now. So again, this is the Glacier Peak series from Outdoors RV, the fifth wheel version. So the F27 KVS, this rig is actually available for purchase at Thompson RV right now, hopefully as, as of the time of this video. So give them a call. If you want a rig that's ready to go, solar, inverter, lift, Lithium batteries ready to go off grid. Like I said, running the space heater now for fireplace here from the batteries, using the microwave from the batteries. This thing is ready to go. No need for a generator. Solar on the roof, 1200 watt, 540 amp hours, one and done. One of the best trailers in my opinion, one of the best dealerships in my opinion, and a pretty dang good dollar upgrade put in by yours truly. So for those of you who are, who are thinking about a trailer with the Victron system in it, this is a full Victron system, obviously apart from the battery, charge controller Victron, smart shunt Victron, and the inverter is Victron. With that Serbo GX, that's honestly the best thing about a big, big Victron system in an RV is you really get to know your power more than most RVs out there. So right now we can see exactly what the RV is doing. So if we look here, we can tell that this fifth wheel is currently unplugged because usually there'd be a sign of a pedestal there. That might not seem like much, but that's useful. You can actually see what you're pulling from the pedestal whether that's at home or at an RV park. We can see what the inverter is doing. We can see how much stuff we're running inside the coach. Remember that uh, fireplace is on right now. So that's why we're pulling about 1,392 watts from that. We can see actually our percentage battery, not just whether you know they're two thirds full this information is really invaluable um, when you're out camping and you're off grid. Even when you're at the RV park, it's useful. You get to know what everything in your RV costs you essentially to run. So. We know that the batteries are at 84%. We know how much solar is coming in. We can see how much of the 12 volt stuff in our rig we're using. You really become an expert in your RV's electrical system rather than just going, oh, batteries just died, lights out. You've got a ton more information than that with this RV. Okay, so again, we talked about the batteries and the inverter and all that monitoring downstairs. Pretty awesome that this dealership has got this inner rig ready to go. There's not many dealerships out there that have a fully off-grid Victron state-of-the-art system in a rig. So in terms of solar, 1200 watts, which is a good amount for this fifth wheel. So these are the rich 200 watt panels. We love rich solar panels. So it's really nice to have these on this RV straight from the dealership. This thing is ready to go, 1200 watts up on the roof here. So again, uh, this is the Outdoors RV Glacier Peak F27 KVS fifth wheel. Brand new trailer coming off the lot with an awesome MYT solar upgrade. So it's going to have, the, again, 540 amp hours of lithium. Those are the game changers, the best batteries around. 1200 watts of solar on the roof. Multi plus inverter, full Victron system with the Touch 50 and the Servo GX. This thing is ready to go. It's ready for some off grid adventures. So this is currently for sale here at Thompson RV in Pendleton as of this video. So if you like what you see, give them a call. Thanks for watching. If you have any other solar questions, please let me know. Again, this is Tom with MYT Solar. See you later.